It's the end. This is going to be my May TBR. So for the month of May, I have a total of four graphic novels, two novels, and one manga that I'd like to go ahead and try to read. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So we'll start with the manga that I'd like to try to read in May, and that is the Legend of Zelda Legendary Edition. This is the Oracle, uh, this is the manga that is inspired by Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. I have been slowly reading these and slowly collecting them, um, and I am ready to read it this month because I've just been feeling kind of slumpy so I need some fast paced reads and something that I um, this is the only last one that I own that I have not read yet so I'm really excited to dive into this this is just the manga adaptation of the video game um, and my boyfriend is a huge Legend of Zelda fan I am wearing my uh, Zelda shirt today so it seemed fitting to try to read this in May um, and it's a really fast paced read even though it is pretty thick it is two stories in one um, and this is just the it's just the manga adaptation of, of the two games, so I'm really excited to go ahead and try to read this this month. The first book that I like to try to read is *The Silence of the Girls* by Pat Barker. This was a book of the month pick quite a while ago. I don't remember when, um, but this was really intriguing. This kind of is a reimagining of the Iliad, but from the point of view of the captured women during the Greek War and during the Trojan War. It was it's very intriguing. It's not super thick, um, and I haven't read a lot of historical fiction yet this year, and I've. I'm trying to, I've been kind of feeling kind of slumpy, so I'm trying to branch out a little bit and read some things that I know I enjoy, but I haven't read in a while. I've also got a backlog of Book of the Month books that I'm trying to get caught up on, and this was kind of what was intriguing to me off my shelf this month. And the second book that I'd like to try to read this month is Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. I know that the um, TV show slash miniseries is coming out at the end of May, so I definitely want to try to read this before the show comes out. I am so excited for the TV show and I've really been wanting to read this for quite a while. It's been on my TBR for a few years and I had it on my TBR in January and I never got around to it so I'm really excited to dive into it this month. This I've heard nothing but great things. I've heard it's really funny um, and if you like dry British humor this is perfect for you. I love dry British humor, love Neil Gaiman, I really enjoy Terry Pratchett's writing style, so I'm really, really excited to dive into this this month. If you don't know, basically this follows an angel and a demon who are not excited about the world ending. The apocalypse is coming um, in a week, and someone has misplaced the Antichrist, and it's kind of just a whole bunch of different things kind of mixed into to this plot line. I don't really know too much about it, but um, honestly, with Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett as the authors, I don't really need to go into it knowing very much, um, and I've just heard that it's just a great, fun read, and it's got that dry British humor, which I love, so I'm really, really excited to hopefully get into this this month. Things on my TBR for May are the graphic novels I'd like to read. There is a theme. You will notice very quickly what that theme is. Um, the first one that I'd like to try to read is Domino by Gail Simone. This follows... Domino, who we actually meet in Deadpool 2. So we picked this up soon after Deadpool 2 came out. Just haven't got around to reading it. I was really, I really was fascinated by the character of Domino and wanted to learn more about her. So we picked this up. Um, I picked this, I started, I started this this morning. I've read the first chapter so far and I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, I don't know much about it. I just know it follows her in an adventure and you get to learn more about her and I've really been intrigued by her lately so I'm really, really excited to pick this up. I'm also all about more, you know, strong female driven main characters in graphic novels so I'm really excited to finish this this month. The second graphic novel that I'd like to try to read is The Ultimate Volume 1 Superhero, Superhuman. This is kind of a Avengers X-Men collab where you've got Iron Man, Giant Man, Hulk, Captain America, Thor, Wasp, Green Goblin, Spider-Man, Magneto kind of all come together to kind of fight the big bad. Um, I don't honestly know much more about it than that. This has been on my TBR for quite a while. This was actually my boyfriend's before we were even together, so I think it's probably the oldest graphic novel on my TBR. Um, but I'm really excited to go ahead and give it a read this month. It is not canon to, you know, the Marvel Universe or anything. It's just kind of one of those, uh, you know, collabs that they do. And I'm really excited to read this. It's an older comic, um, so I'm really excited to read kind of the older, and it does have that older art style, which I really, really like, so I'm really excited to read this this month. The graphic novel I'd like to try to read this month is Thor Volume 1. By now you are noticing the pattern. Um, honestly, I don't know anything about this. I've had it on my shelf for a while. I don't even know how many years at this point. 
so we picked this up quite a while ago. It is an older comic, um, but I really, really like the art style on this one as well. And this is another one where it's the first in a you know, the first volume in a series. Haven't read it. It's been on my shelf for a while, so I really want to try to go ahead and give it a read this as uh, this month as well. This follows. The Asgardian God of Thunder, when he is, he is reunited with the mortal form of Dr. Don Blake. I have no idea who that is. If you know who Dr. Don Blake is, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, they must reckon with the legacy of the mythic Norse kingdom and the awakening of its immortal heroes. But in a world they may not want. But in a world that may not want them back. Honestly, I don't know much more about it than that. But I'm really excited to go ahead and try to give it a read this month. The last graphic novel on my TBR is Uncanny Avengers Volume 1, The Red Shadow. I don't know much about this. I know that it's been on, another one that's been on my shelf for quite a while. Um, and basically this is happened, this takes place after, during Professor X's funeral. Captain America creates a new Avengers unit composed of Avengers and X-Men. So it's another X-Men Avengers collab. Um, and Red Skull is their main villain, is the main villain during this run, so I'm really excited to try to read this. Um, but this does also have some favorites. It's got Thor, Rogue, Scarlet Witch, Captain America, uh, Wolverine, and, and some new ones as well. But I'm really excited to go ahead and try to read this this month as well. So here is everything that I'd like to try to read in May. Let me know in the comments below what you're reading in May, if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if not already to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.